What's up YouTube? So we're gonna do a video today on my Mavic Mini. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about this little bad boy here. Um, the Wi-Fi issues I've been having, so stay tuned. Okay, so if you guys haven't noticed, if you guys are looking at buying the Mavic Mini or you guys haven't seen anything, there is a Wi-Fi issue um, where if you are on a populated channel, it's not going to work very well. And from what I've been reading, is you need to manually select a different channel. Um, by default, this will go to the 149 uh, megahertz for the Wi-Fi um, on the 2.4 frequency. I, I did see a setting where it had uh, 5.8 frequency on here, so I'm still doing a little research on it. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up as far as what I've learned on this. Um, so the wife actually bought me for Christmas. You got my some Wi-Fi extenders. Um, they did work, um, but we still had problems where they were dropping connection in mid-flight um, and then returning to home uh, by default. So uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys some information on this here with the Wi-Fi. So the 149 megahertz frequency that we were using by default when it automatically connects um, wasn't the one I want to uh, keep using. Um, I found that was a congested uh, channel, so I started doing some research, and there's four different channels on here that you can select from. I usually use the 152, and I have found that that will take me out to the distance of that DJI advertises for um, the max distance out for like the three, I think it's like three miles or something. So just kind of give, give you guys a little more information. I'm gonna do a, do a video here in a second and just kind of show you guys the differences and the, where you guys can find the setting on the controller. Um. Okay, here I am, I'm back with the screen here. So you see on the screen here, I got six satellites, seven satellites kind of bouncing in and out, but that's because I'm aside. Um, if you go over to the settings and you go over to transmission, you'll see the frequencies to uh, 5.8 gigahertz. You'll see how I've adjusted this so that it automatically connects to the 5.7 and higher, or the 5.3, or sorry, the 153 and the 157. Those are the ones that I, I have found that work really good. Um, the 149 by default, when I first had this all set up, it was not working properly. It would disconnect within probably 80 to 100 feet of me going up, um, and then it would just automatically return to home. There was once I had it flying and it actually landed on our roof so I had to try to figure out how to get that down and get the transmission to reconnect to that. So um, the, you can manually adjust it here. Most likely it'll probably be set for automatic. Um, so you'll see here how it resets the whole channel, reconnects to the drone, um, and then it's probably gonna go right back down to the 149 um, megahertz. Yep, so. Um, it does show stable, but if you watch it, you see how 165 is showing unstable now. Um, that's because there's a lot of traffic and a lot of uh, interference on that, that um, frequency. So you guys want to really pay attention to this if you guys are having problems with um, drones going and disconnecting and not connecting properly. Um, on the one, I can tell you right now, when I manually selected the 157, um, there was 152, 153, 157. I'm not sure why it's not showing the 152, but 157, it, may, it definitely helped out a lot being on that channel. Um, I was able to go probably about a mile from my house with the trees and interference and stuff. Okay, so now that you guys showed you guys how to check the transmission as far as which frequency you guys are running on, um, and then maybe hopefully this will help you guys out like it helped me out um, in getting my drone to be able to fly a little bit further than just 100 feet from where I was. Um, so if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be doing some more videos on the drone, um, the Mavic Mini, some of the other stuff I got, the, the Osmo that I'm actually recording on right now that's tracking, um, and then I also got some uh, detailing videos as well as some car videos that we're going to be doing once the weather starts breaking.